coming in this weekend and you know just the conference schedule like you said this is a big week big game for them you know. and albert's going to take off that one goes off of the leg of lacarica but luckily up the middle for a double play as patelli was right place right time tagged second base over to capus for the second out Let's see how lacarica shakes this one off I, yeah, you talk about a kick save and, I mean, a beauty right there, right into the glove of Patelli and an easy double play. And this is the guy that uh, Lekarik is going to have to keep an eye on this evening. And then he takes that one out to right field, and that one is out of here off the parking garage. So Shanuel, just like that, another home run for him, his ninth on the season, and he gives FAU the early 1-0 lead here in the first. Yeah, and you can see Samuel talk sitting right on the plate. I mean, he's standing on the line, basically inside. Solo homer has given FAU the one nothing lead. And the second walk issued of the Saturday due to the bad weather in San Antonio. They lost both those games. And that one is taken out to right field. Levinson goes back to the warning track, and that one goes over the wall, a two-run homer for Dylan Goldstein. And two home runs off Lekarika here in the top of the first inning, and FAU has jumped out to a 3 nothing lead. And you can see it again there. They're all sitting on that plate. Make so the catcher for FAU is Caleb Pendleton. He takes that one out to left field, and that one is gone. Back-to-back -back homers for FAU, this time to left field. And Caleb Pendleton with his first home run of the season. And FAU now a 4 nothing lead over the Miami Hurricanes. And all on fastballs up until then, he had missed his spot every single time. This one by Millen is popped into foul territory. Morales underneath it makes the catch. The inning is over, but the Owls. That next pitcher. Capus goes down swinging. So an inning and a third allowed four hits and two earned runs. And he walks Viegas here. It's been a roller coaster ride the entire season. Morales takes strike three. And Viegas goes into second base. He was going on the full count, but it's but apparently interference there, Morales. So it looks like Viegas is going to be out at second base. Yeah, the umpire is calling that Yo-Yo stepped over the plate there and obviously impeded on that throw. So you're going to get a strike him out, throw him out. Now it grounded to short off Patelli. That was one that ate him up there, and Pendleton will advance the first they are to the plate. You can see it's already wiped off on that those lefty hitters. And first time seeing Schlesinger. And he flies this one out to center field this time, and heading back, step above the warning track. It's Viegas making the catch, for which is good for the Canes. Yeah, and I mean, FAU also. And Dubose uh, hits that one. Into right field, and Frank will stop at second. Two out single for Dubose, second time on base for the Owls. That one grounded to short, and Patelli over to second. You can do against the new pitcher. That one is lined into right, and it drops in Viegas. Leadoff single here in the fourth. That one grounded sharply to second, and it goes off of Frank. Everyone is safe. And it's the Canes' advantage of that. And Levinson skies this one. It's going to be an infield fly rule. Runners at first and second, and the ball is caught by the shortstop out. Sear lifts this one to left field, and the Canes are back in it. A three-run homer by Blake Sear, and all of a sudden now the Canes trail FAU 4-3. to three. And I've been talking about it, you know, that's the difference between Williams and Martsoff right there. He had been leaving the ball up. He had been fortunate enough not to give up too many hard hit balls, but Sear just takes advantage of it right there. Fastball. Home run of the season. Patelli grounds this one to second. Great play there by Frank over to first, but the throw is short. Patelli beats it out. Patelli leading off first. Gutierrez goes down swing, first strikeout for Marzolf in the next inning, so at least uh, that's good. Gonzalez drops this one in, and Perez will bat in this inning. Two out single for the Canes second baseman. And Perez lines this one to right, and that is going to drop in, and the Canes will take the lead. Two runs come in, actually no, Patelli 
Patelli tied it up. Half inning, now it's a 4-4 game. Capus lifts this one to right field, and it will go over the wall for a three-run homer. C.J. Capus, that's now four home runs in the last three games for the Canes' first baseman. He stays hot, a three-run shot, seven unanswered for the Canes. They lead FAU 7-4 to four here in the fourth. Yeah, and that's what I mean. <laughs> Viegas gets hit. He'll head to first. Four pitch walk to Morales. Extend this lead now for the Canes. First pitch swinging. And it's picked up by the right field. But that one uh, check swing. Patelli, one out. Yeah, that, that, that the lefties. Only nine strikeouts by Shanuel this year. He gets underneath that one, flies it just past the infield, and Patelli squeezes that one, so Shanuel retired. That one chopped to third. Morales corrals it across the diamond. And nice shot by Cinto Murphy back out for FAU. And right out of the gate, Sear, who hit the three-run homer back in the fourth. He get Telly. Strike three, strike him out, throw him out, and Sear is thrown out at second base, so quickly two outs for the Canes. Nice job. The number I threw out earlier, the Canes had trailed in six of their past eight games, and Gutierrez now gets hit. Listen, that's a great thing late in the season. You've got games that you need to come back from. You're not going to be leading the games every game. Tonight, two and two the count, two outs here in the fifth. Perez hits this one in the sky. That one is caught there by the shortstop, Albert. A bit of a collision there at second base between Frank and Gonzalez. Takes strike three. Sinta's first strikeout touched on the hard hit ball to Patelli. That was ruled an error. And this one goes in the middle of the infield. Let's see who will be you on know, top of it. It's Kafis for out number two here in the top of the sixth. That one sent out to left field. And Gutierrez at the track makes the catch. Sinta. Doesn't matter. What matters right now is putting runs on the board. And you saw that in that fourth inning where as, as the season goes on. One and one to Viegas. And he lines that one into right field. And... Millen able to make the catch. Take sixth. And that one misses inside. Capus took off for second. Another walk issued by Smith. Bases are loaded for Blake Sear. Those white, white glasses. That one is flown out to right field. And Millen lost that one. He made the catch. He lost it in the lights for a second, but tagging up. And coming home is Kafis. That was out here in the sixth. That one is lined in the right field. And that one gets down. Morales scores. Patelli motoring around first. And stopping at third is Levinson. Kane score their second here in the sixth inning to take a 9 4 lead over FAU. Kane's left fielder. Gutierrez drives this one to center, but DeBow's underneath it. And the Canes leave two on, but they score two. Also lined out to third back in the second inning, and he fists this one over to the right side, picked up by Kafis, who sends it over to Torres. Good job covering first base. Beat in there. And that's Nolan Shanuel batting 451, and he drills that one up the middle. Amazing hitter. He, he's got three hits so far in the night. He hit the, but he's pitched well so far this season, and this one is skied. And it looks like the shortstop Patelli will make the play. He does. The Arteaga of getting these guys different. That one is going to drop into the gap. And Shanuel is going to round third and head home. And there's no throw. So FAU breaks the hex since the first inning. And they cut the deficit down to 9-5, says Gabriel Colon. Swing and a miss. Tipped into the glove of Perez. Strike three. And Levinson 
Second walk on the board. Swing and a miss. Headed down to second is Levinson. So that one is lined out to left center field. That one's going to find the gap, and Gino is going to send Levinson. He's going to go in standing up. And a double by Dominic Patelli, his fourth hit of the night. And Gutierrez sends it back out to right field. Millen makes the catch in the corner, and tagging from second is Patelli. He goes in the third standing up. Bully with the strikeout. First pitch swing and grounder to Capus. One out. Walters right at Morales. Swing and a miss. Walters records the strikeout. And the Hurricanes overcome an early 4-0 deficit.